In this lesson, we will discuss the upper eCam display and lower eCam display. The upper eCam display unit is divided into two sections. The upper section permanently displays the primary engine control indications, fuel quantity, and the flap slat position indicator. These indications are covered in detail in the associated modules. The lower section, or memo section, is reserved for the display of temporary in-flight system information and reminders, such as when the seat belt signs are on, the speed brakes are extended, or the landing lights are on. Memos are displayed in green when systems are used temporarily in normal situations. For example, when the speed brakes are extended and engine thrust is at or near idle. Some memos are amber in abnormal or undesirable situations. For example, when the speed brakes are extended and engine thrust is greater than 50% N1. Warning and caution messages when generated by the flight warning computers are also displayed on the lower section. The takeoff memo appears in the memo section two minutes after the second engine has been started. It lists key items of the normal takeoff checklist, which must be accomplished before takeoff. Required actions are listed in blue with a dashed line and when completed, will turn green. Select the auto brakes to max, then the right arrow to continue. The last item of the takeoff memo is the takeoff configuration test. Pressing the takeoff configuration push button on the ECAM control panel simulates the application of takeoff power and tests whether the aircraft is in a safe takeoff configuration. The pitch trim is not in the green takeoff range. Touch the takeoff configuration push button. If any of the listed conditions exist when either the takeoff configuration push button is pressed or takeoff power is applied, a warning or caution will be generated and displayed in the memo section. If, when the takeoff configuration push button is pressed, the aircraft is properly configured for a safe takeoff, the last line of the takeoff memo will indicate normal. The takeoff memo disappears from the memo section when takeoff power is applied. The landing memo appears below 1,500 feet if the landing gear is down or below 800 feet if the landing gear is not down. Again, the required actions are in blue and will change to green after they have been accomplished. The landing memo disappears after touchdown when the aircraft speed is less than 80 knots. The lower ECAM normally displays various systems pages depending on the current phase of flight. The flight warning computers determine the current phase of flight from acquired aircraft signals and instruct the DMCs which systems page to display. The door page is displayed in phase one, but will be temporarily replaced by the APU page during APU start or the engine page during engine start. The wheel page is displayed in Phase 2, 10 seconds after the engine start sequence is complete. The flight control page will temporarily replace the wheel page if either pilot moves his side stick or deflects the rudder pedals more than 22 degrees. This may be the case during the flight control check. At the application of takeoff power, through Phases 3, 4, and 5, the engine page is displayed. One minute after entering flight phase 6, or once the slats are in and climb power is selected, the cruise page is displayed. The cruise page contains information from the engine, the air conditioning, and the pressurization systems. 
The wheel page is displayed when the landing gear is extended through phase 9 until the last engine has been shut down, whereupon the door page is once again displayed. The bottom portion of the lower ECAM is reserved for a permanent display of TAT, SAT, time, and, after the second engine has been started, gross weight. In this lesson, we have discussed the upper ECAM display and lower ECAM display.